Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and today we're going to be dealing with MDT 2013 Update 1 and uh, pushing out a Windows 10 upgrade. So the scenario is this. I have a Windows 7 box. Uh, I'm going to go to Start, right-click on Computer, go to Properties. I have a Windows 7 Enterprise 64-bit. Now to do a, you know, to push out an upgrade with MDT, you got to make sure you have the exact uh version of the Windows 10. So if you have a Windows 7 Enterprise, make sure that you're pushing out a Windows 10 Enterprise to do the upgrade. If you have Windows 7 Professional, make sure you have Windows 10 Professional. If not, it's going to error out. Now, the first thing that you guys need to do is create a task sequence. Now, you need to make sure that you have the latest and greatest MDT server. So let's go to help about Microsoft Deployment Workbench, and you got to make sure you have 6.3 Point eighty two ninety eight point one thousand. If you don't, you're not going to have the specific template when you're creating your task sequence to do the upgrade. So I'm going to press OK. And uh, let's expand this. Let's go into my task sequence. And I already created a folder. As you guys know, I love creating folders. So I created a folder called Windows 10 X64 Upgrade. And this is my task sequence. And I'm going to just right click and go to New Task Sequence. I'm going to show you guys what I did. Uh, you want to give it a task ID. You give it a name, give it a task sequence uh, comment, it's up to you. Click on next. Now this is a very important part. Gotta make sure that you have your MDT fully updated. If not, you're not gonna get this option. Standard client upgrade task sequence. That's what we want. Click on it, click on next. You're gonna pick your operating system. Make sure if you're upgrading a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 or a Windows 8.1 Enterprise, make sure you have the Windows 10 Enterprise. It's not the eval version because the, the trial version will not let you do an upgrade. I learned that the hard way. So once you pick your operating system, click on next. Do not specify a key because again, Microsoft is providing Windows 10 for free. So my Windows 7 machine, uh, imagine is already activated. So once it gets to in place or upgrade to Windows 10, it's good to go. Uh, we're gonna click on next. You're into all this information. If you want, click on next. Now the password, do not provide a password. The reason why is because your Windows 7 box or your Windows 8 or, or your Windows 8.1 box already has an admin with a password. So you don't need to set that. So we're just gonna leave that blank and just say do not specify an administrative password at this time. And we're gonna click on next, get a nice little summary and just finish it off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel it because I already did it. I'm gonna double click on the one that I did. And I basically called it Windows 764 to Windows 1064 upgrade task sequence version one because in the future, I'm probably gonna have other versions doing other things because within the task sequence, they give you a lot of options, which is pretty cool. It allows you to do Windows updates. It also allows you to push out applications during your deployment or your upgrade process, which is pretty cool. I disabled that part. By default, this is turned on, install applications, but I disable it and that's it. And another thing, guys, you cannot pixie boot. That sucks. You cannot do a pixie boot with uh, this new task sequence template that Microsoft provided us within MDT. You can't pixie boot, trust me. Uh, I tried to pixie boot to try to push out the upgrade and it's not there. So the only way for this to work is you have to log into your deployment share and then run the light touch VBS uh, deployment. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So I'm gonna go into my Windows 7 box. Let's go inside my Windows 7 box and I'm gonna go to start and I'm gonna go backslash backslash and I'm going to do the IP address because I definitely want to get into it. And I'm going to get into my deployment share. Remember, it's a dollar sign because it's hidden. And I'm going to hit enter. Uh, this machine right now is not part of the domain. Uh, so it's going to ask for this. So just make sure that you're logging into the account that has full access, full access to your deployment share. All right, guys. So I'm log in. Make sure I write the right one. There you go. Okay. Then you need to go into your scripts folder and uh, we're going to do a, L. there you go. Light touch is the VBS. The VBS is the one that you need to run. Just double click on it. Hit open. You're probably going to get another dialog box right here. Just uh, authenticate it. Make sure you have, are you entering the account that has full access to your deployment share? I can't stress that enough. Make sure that you're using the full uh, admin account that has full access to your deployment share. Click on OK. I'm going to minimize this because what's going to happen is uh, this your deployment uh, wizard is going to pop up. 
And within your deployment wizard, you're going to see all your task sequence. And the task sequence that we're going to want is the one that we uh, are, well, I already created behind the scenes, which is this one. Again, it's nothing special. Just make sure that you're picking the standard client upgrade task sequence template when you're creating your task sequence. Click on that. Click on next. Uh, go get a cup of coffee. And that's it because this in place upgrade takes forever. Trust me, it takes forever. Uh, but other than that, guys, I'm gonna let this run. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And once it's completed, we're gonna, we're gonna come back and see what, what was done. All right, guys, so I upgrade using MDT 2013 update one uh, was successful. No error. Awesome. Uh, it doesn't automatically log in. So you, you're going to get this screen. So let's uh, log in for the first time. Again, you're using the password that the original machine already had. So let's let's log in. Let me log into this. Awesome. It's going to take some time because it is the first time logging into the Windows 10 machine. Um, most likely I'm going to get that nice little animation. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. So we're finally logged in. It takes a little bit, but it looks like all my applications have uh, upgraded with the new operating system. Awesome. So I'm super excited. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to right click on the start menu. And uh, let's go into system. And again, I had a Windows 7 Enterprise uh, box, 64-bit, and I upgraded to Windows 10 Enterprise. And Windows is not activated. Eventually, it, it's going to get activated, so I'm just going to leave it be. This is only for testing. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is, you guys are probably asking, uh, okay, so you did the upgrade. Do you have the Windows.O folder? Sure. So let me just kill Spotify. <laughs> let's go uh, start. Let's go to a file explorer and uh, let's go to this PC and let's just double click on the C drive. And I do have the windows dot all folder. So the next question is, do you have the option to, you know, downgrade? I don't know. So let's check it together. So let me close that out. I'm going to go into my uh, little notification panel right here. Uh, I'm going to go into all settings. Within all settings, we are going to uh, believe it's in updates and security. And it even gives me the warning uh, that says window isn't activated. Activate it now. So I just want to check the recovery portion. And I do have the option to go back to Windows 7, which a lot of you guys don't have. And I do apologize. I just... I don't know why Microsoft doesn't give you the option or some of you do have the option and some of you don't. It's just really weird, but I do have the option to go back to Windows 7. So uh, again, this is an enterprise edition. So most likely it's not going to get activated because it's not really fully released yet. Uh, it's a VL license, volume license for Microsoft. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video on how to upgrade your current operating system to Windows 10 using MDT 2013. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this video. And if this video gets more support, I'm able to push more out for you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.